Hi, in this video, we'll see about the object repository, some more features advanced in this. Now, in the previous video, we have recorded this agent name, password, OK button, and then close the application, this few scripts. Now, let us see if I try to change the name, how do I add the objects? How do I update from the application? So you can see here, I'll go to resources, object repository, and I'll get this dialog box. Now, if you see, it has three child objects, OK button, agent name, password. These are three uh, child objects. If I click on this agent name, I've got this as name as agent name. The class is as WPF edit, Windows presentation foundation edit. Repository is as local. So there are two types of repositories. One is local repository and second one is shared repository. For that particular test objects, these are the details. That's the dev name and the agent name. Now, what I'll do is, I'll try to change this name, that is logical name. If I type here as agent name two, okay. And if you see here in the script, it's given as agent name. So if I change this agent name two in the script, it will become as agent name two. So I'll just close it. And if you observe here, that has become as agent name two, right? And if I try to execute this script, it will not throw any error. So I'll just execute that, click on run. Okay, so if you see John is a username password and then it is executed. So it didn't throw any error. So if you change the logical name, there is no problem here, right? If you see, if I go back to this action, so it has been changed it to agent name two. But if I go back again, resources, uh, object repository, if I click on this agent name two, and if I modify this dev name, this is possible that you can change it. If I double click on this place, I can just type anything and I can modify that value. So this is a property and that's a value. So if I change this value and if I close this object repository and now if I execute, what I've done is basically I have changed the property value. Okay, I've not changed the logical name. So let us see that I'll just execute run. So once it is executed, it will not find out that property of that object that is agent name two. So obviously it will throw an error message. It will try to find out some objects in that duration. So you can see here, it is not able to find out. Finally, it will throw an error message. Yeah, that's the error message which says, cannot identify the object agent name two of class WPF edit. So if you modify any property value, then it is difficult to find the object. But if you change the logical name, it is easy to then find out the object and work on it. So I'll just say yes, stop the script and the script will fail itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand what happens if I change the logical name or if I change the property value of the object. So script will work and when it will not work. That's all for this video.